Hi guys, welcome back to another deck profile. We are going to be doing one of the newest archetypes that came out, well, in Blazing Vortex, the Springits. Now this deck is mainly based around getting out their XYZ boss monster, and they're going to have some future support coming up soon in the, one of the next packs that is coming up. Please excuse the noise in the background, that is my dog. He's just being silly, he's a dog. Anyways, um, let's dive into it, we're gonna go at first with the main deck, then with the side deck. And then for the main deck, you're gonna need three. Of each springing monster there is. There's four in total for this deck, so Sorry, my head's kind of hurt me right now, but I want to get this and show you all this deck anyways. It's fine. Anyways, there are four different uh, monsters for this deck. Let's start off with my personal favorite, the uh, Springin's Burga. Now what he does is, if this card is in your hand, field, or graveyard, you can target one Springin's XYZ monster you control. Attach this card to it as a material. You can finish this card and one spring monster with a different name from your graveyard and one spring card from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. So, pretty much regardless of where he's at, if you have spring XYZ on the field, you can equip it to him, give it to him, you want to him as a material, and he helps you search out any of your spring and any of your spring and, um, cards from your deck. And trust me, you're going to spring out every single, I mean, <laughs> spring out, you're going to search every single one of them out. They all help out each other at the end. Then we have the big boy. Spring is Captain Sargas. What Sargas does, if this card is in your hand or field, well, they all do this where regardless of where they're at, they can attach to an XZ Spring it, XYZ Spring it monster as a material. They all do that. However, he has this. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can detach one material from an XYZ monster you control to target one face up card on the field and destroy it. You can only use each of the previous effects of this card once per turn. A spring is a monster that has this card's material gains its effect. It gains 500 attack. So, if he's just on your field and you have a spring and XYZ monster with material to get rid of some of your monster opponent's uh, monsters or anything on their field, bam, take him out. Then we have springs. Pedro, I mean Ped or Pedor. I don't know how you would really say that, but there we go. <laughs> uh, you can tribute this card and target one spring monster in your graveyard, except this one. Special summon. If this card is in your hand, field, or graveyard, like all the others, you can target a spring X Y Z monster you control. It touches this material. Only use effects once per turn. So he helps you bring out your boys from the graveyard. Then we have Spring It Rocky, with possibly the goofiest grin. I've seen in a long time on a card. <laughs> this looks so silly. Anyways, if this card is normal summon or special summon, you can target one great sea sand golden Goloda. I'm terrible at pronouncing these. Or one spring its monster in your graveyard, except this one. Add it to your hand. If this card is in your hand, like the others, attach to uh, three of XYZ, uses material. You only use it once per turn. So, all these guys really. Help out each other. Just keep um, resupplying your materials on your XC boss monster. That's what all of them do. And then they have their own little effects that help out each other and help out your deck. So it's a pretty fun deck to play. Now since there aren't many normal monsters out, we have to fill the deck with some extras. Like good old Pankratops right there. Gizmek. Dimensional Shifter. Oh, Ghost Ogre Rabbit Sword. Effect Veiler. And my personal add to this deck. It's just something for me. Because this machine, I want to keep the theme up. BS Blaster Cannon Core. <laughs> but yeah. Um, pretty much these two help you get a good body out on the field. And Paker Tops, tribute him, destroy one card on the field. Put, send him to the graveyard. All your opponent's monsters or anything that's to the graveyard is banished. Ogre, because I don't have an extra, um... Ash Blossom Joy of Springs at the moment is taking her spot. 
as you know, um, when a monster on the field activates the effect, or when a spell card or trap card is already face up on the field, activates the effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, destroy that card. You can only use its effect once a return. Effect failure neutralizes the monster's effect for one turn. And And BS Blaster Cannon Core, his effect is if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can special summon this card from your hand. So he works like Pinkertops and Cyber Dragon. But also, once per turn, I'm sorry, not once per turn, if this card is normal summon or special summon, place three counters on it. It cannot be destroyed by battle at the end damage step. If this card battles, remove one counter. If you have no counters removed, it's destroyed. So. To me, he's, he's not the best card, but he's still pretty good. I like him in this deck because it's a machine-themed deck, and I kind of want to keep it. But since machine monsters don't have a lot of negate cards, I kind of had to get a bit uh, creative with it. But that's fine. We still got some. Let's see. Get y'all all back together right now over me. Now to spell cards. Of course, in any machine deck, you need three limited removals and for just for the fact that spring it's you need three spring it's watch and three and three great sands of golden i mean of gold galadon now limited removal for those of you who've played machine decks before as you know this thing doubles the attack power of all machines on your side of the field and then destroys them at the end phase but you can activate this card at any time because it's a quick play spell so you get a real good hit on your opponent, or you get surprised them when they think they got the hit on you. Let's bring his watch. What this does is you add one of these to your from your deck to your hand. If it's on your field zone, you can apply the effect instead. Add one spring and monster from your deck to your hand. And if you do, send a spring and monster from your deck to the graveyard. So it's a rota and a foolish burial all in one for spring and Then a great exam. What this card does. This is a key to your deck. You're going to need this in your deck. All spring is XYZ monsters on the field gain a thousand attack. You can only use each of the following effects of this card once per turn. If you control no spring and XYZ monsters, you can discard one spring as card, special summon one spring and XYZ monster from your extra deck. If a face of XYZ monster you control leaves the field by card effect except during damage step, you can target one monster your opponent controls It can attack for the rest of the turn even if it leaves the field. So, it gives your XYZ a boost and helps uh, you get him out on the field if you ain't got one. I mean, discarding a card, special summon a monster for the extra, that, that's a pretty fair cost. Then, for my own add little flavor, we have Machine Duplication, a terraforming regeki, and a field barrier. Now, Machine Duplication, this is mainly for like a few of the cards in here. Pretty much target one machine with 500 lesser attack. Special summon up to two monsters from your deck with the same name as it. That's simple. Terraforming searches out uh, the Great Golden Sea. Regeki destroys all monsters on the field. To me, it's a necessary staple in every deck that I make. I enjoy using Regeki. I know a lot of people like you. Don't we want Regeki? I don't care. Regeki is one of my favorite cards to use in, in any deck I build. So if I have enough, I put them in every deck. Then we have one field barrier to protect your field spell. And that's pretty much it for the spell cards right there. Now on to trap cards. Now when I build these decks, I try my best to keep a theme with them. As in the trap cards, spell cards, I want everything to work together with it. So, I have three Spring It's Blast, two Spring It's Colin, and one Barrage Blast. Now, what Spring It's Blast does, if you control a Spring It's Monster, choose one uh, opponent's main monster zone. If a, if a blah, 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 words, words, sorry. If a monster is face up in that zone during this turn, it cannot attack directly. Also, its effects are negated. If no monsters are in that zone, it cannot be used this turn. If you control a few, oh, if you control a fusion monster that's listed Fallen Angel as material, you choose two zones instead. Since I don't have that card, I can't do that. But, when I get it, it's going in this deck. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Then there's a Spring and Skull. Target one Spring and Monster or Fallen Angel, which 
once again, sadly I do not have. How I don't have it, I don't know. But anyways, uh, in your graveyard, special summon it. During the main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card, add one fusion monster from your graveyard, and target one spring XYZ monster you control, attach one fusion monster listed as fallen angel as a material from your extra deck to that monster as material. You can only use the effect of this once per turn. That special summons uh, your XC monster back, or any springing card, I mean any springing monster, so having two of these in deck to me is vital. Then we just have one Barrage Blast. Now Barrage Blast, what it does is once per turn, you can detach any number of materials from a Machine XYZ monster you control, and throw as many cards on the field, destroy them. If a Machine XYZ monster you control is destroyed by battle or opponent's card effect, while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card at one Machine XYZ monster from your graveyard. Oh, banish one from your graveyard, then inflict damage to your opponent equal to banished monster's rate by 200. <laughs> so pretty much, you're going to have about three to four materials on your Spring and XYZ. Get rid of them, knock out four of your opponent's uh, cards that quick. Bam. One shot. Then it does a little bit of burn damage on the side. Now for the generic traps in this deck, I have one Metaverse, one Psalm Strike, one Psalm Judgment, one Dimensional Burial, and one Witch's Strike. Now Metaverse, take one field spell from my deck, set on the field, or add it to my hand. I can't even activate it. Psalm Strike. I think everyone knows what Psalm Strike does. Psalm Warning, same thing. Dimensional Burial, what this does, Declare one monster type, Ritual, Fusion, Synchro, XYZ, Pendulum. For the rest of the turn, neither player can special summon monsters of that declare type. Also negates effects of all monsters of that type while they're on the field. You have to be this monster per turn. Now, Witch Strike, I believe this card is so freaking powerful. It just has a stipulation cost, which really ain't that hard of a stipulation for someone to activate. Simply put, if your opponent negates a normal summon or special summon of a monster or the activation of a card effect, Destroy all cards your opponent controls in their hand. And with how many cards do that nowadays, that doesn't take much. Just straight, pff, one shot, pff, done. So that's why this card's in this deck. Now, we're going to move on to extra deck. Now, in extra deck, we have three Spring Ends Ship Exploder, one Mecha Fenta Beast Draco Sack, one of Nightmare Unicorn, one Nightmare Griffin, one more Nightmare Phoenix. You know what these cards do. I really don't need to explain too much about them. Now, for the Spring, it's, this is your boss monster. This is XYZ you want on the field at all times. Here's what it does. It takes uh, two plus level eight monsters, which with that field spell and that trap card, you ain't got to worry about that. You choose one of your opponent's monster zones or spell trap card zones. Attach any number of materials from this card. If you do, destroy that same number of cards your opponent controls in that chosen zone. And it's a uh, get monster zone or spell trap card zone. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, quick fix, you can banish this card until the end of the phase. You can only use this effect once per turn. So pretty much this card is good for wiping out not wiping out, but taking out a lot of your opponent's monsters and everything. And it works like different dimension dragon. If it's in danger, just get off the field real quick. And it comes back next turn. Well, in the face. Still, it's a good way to keep the card safe. Now, I only have one of this guy, but he was pretty good back in the day. And I wanted him in there just because he was one of my favorite machine XYZs. Mainly because of the artwork. I love the artwork on it. But, um... Uh, once per turn, you can detach uh, one material from this card. Special summon two Mega Fit the Beast tokens. Uh, machine, win, level three, zero attack, zero defense. While you control a token, this card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. Once per turn, you contribute one Mega Fit the Beast monster and target one card on the field. Destroy that target. This card cannot attack. Then you turn, you activate that effect. So, if you do get them on the field and get your tokens out, take out a card. And the only sad thing is you got to attack, but you're not too worried about that because. Using that effect for something you could not attack or had to get out your way. And then I would just link him off into one of these guys anyway after that. But, um, like I said, I got the three nightmares in here. I, y'all know their effects. I don't think I really need to go over them. But, guys, that is it for my Springin's, uh, deck profile right there. It's an, it's, 
Not the best deck. This deck is mainly made for probably casual play, but I still, I still think it's pretty fun. I tested it out against some of my tournament decks that I got, and it did okay. Um, I believe if I had extra support cards for it, um, maybe like an Ash Blossom, maybe a few other good hand traps, or maybe a few other good trap cards, it would be a good deck. Uh, one of my friends did suggest Dogmatica, however, I'm saving that for another deck I got playing built, and I think it's going to do a lot better in that one, because this one, like I said, it's my casual deck, it's just for one that I want to play with my friends, or show some of my friends who get the Yu-Gi-Oh! how to play, but I think it's a really fun deck. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please leave a comment down below of what you think of the Springins, and what you want to see probably add to this deck, or how you think we can make this deck better, or competitive, and all of that. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys on the next Deck Profile video. Bye!